I thought tonight we didn't play our best offensively. I think I think uh, team defense wise we were we were good tonight. Um, people people did their job defensively what they needed to do, and we made them take tough shots and and normally didn't give them a lot of second shots other than weak side v, I call it V back where the ball's getting driven and the weak side drops and doesn't let the ball go into the paint. We gave them six or eight points that way. Other than that, I thought defensively we were pretty solid. Um, the thing I have that a lot of people don't have, and the radio guy at, at San Francisco said, he said, you're too big to come off the bench, probably would start for anybody else in our league, and that's really true. Uh, I have Sarah and Bubaloo who are active, defensively long, great rebounding defensive players. And then I bring Jasmine in, who's just a physical, tough kid who can post. And tonight, she did that. She got some easy baskets. And then I think Chalet is, when she plays and she slows down, Chalet's probably one of the best inside presence in the league. And, and so I'm really kind of spoiled that way, having that. But that's what makes it nice. That's why you recruit. That's why you try to get people to fit, you know, the piece of your puzzle. But... Um, Paisley was a little off tonight, not being able to play for a week. You could just tell. But I thought she gave me a great effort, and uh, both defensively and then running the floor and making some baskets. And Maria had a solid game tonight, really solid. Um, you won't look on the stat sheet because she didn't score a lot of points, but she made some really good decisions. And defensively, she was outstanding on 13. Paisley started on her, and then when they went bigger, Paisley had to move to a bigger player and Maria Gardner and I thought she did a really good job. Um, we just got to score better at home. Um, we just seemed, we seemed to not shoot the ball. Surprisingly, we shoot better on the road than we do at home. I, that's got me puzzled, but um, we just need to do a better job of shooting the ball better here. You had 18 assists, 14 of them were, were from Paisley, Murray, and Brown. Correct. Uh, how, about, how about that effort? You just... I thought they did a good job of knowing who was who had the mismatch the best and, and I, I thought Jasmine when she she came in she did all right then I pulled her and then I brought her back in she was a lot more aggressive and that's the way she needs to be for us to be successful I mean she's a she's tough to guard in the post most fours have a very hard time with that how, how pleased are you just having I mean you, you've got the size but to see the way that this, this team's blocking shots we were talking about it this is this is probably one of the of, in my years, one of the better defensive teams I've had, and they believe in it, and they're they're athletic, and they they're smart, and they're physical. Um, you, San Francisco got tired tonight. They didn't get tired because we full court pressed them. They got tired because of busting through screens and and us busting through screens and not giving them stuff. Um, and then we have length. I mean, length in women's basketball is big. I mean, Sarah just takes the middle away. I mean, you saw her tonight. She blocked two shots, and I were jump shots. She blocked. You know, she couldn't have done that last year. And what she just said is true. It's timing. It's, it's being able to watch the film and anticipate. She closes out as good as any big I've had. She closes out, and she doesn't get driven on it. She closes out, and they think they got a shot. And, um, you know, that move she made, that turnaround jumper, I've never seen, I've never seen her do that. I'm going to. She could, you can imagine if she did that consistently. That's exactly what we were seeing. If she did that, How do you, stop that? you can't stop that. I know you can't stop that. I go and I told her when she. I said, "Hey, we got to box that up and work on it." Because no, like, yeah, that was an unbelievable <laughs> shot. She shoots the ball a lot better than people give her credit for. Like the one she shot, and the press turned around and she shot it. Surprising when we do shooting drills. She's as good as anybody, and she's getting a lot better at that. So. Um, but you know, I, I'm just I'm I'm proud of these guys. Um, we didn't like I said we didn't start off good, but we didn't we just kept plugging along, and then we got some some opportunities where we got some easy baskets, and that's what opened it up. You, you touched on this the, the the smart aspect of it because you got 13 blocks and only a couple of fouls off of those types yes. of plays. A lot of the other fouls yes. were reaches or you know yeah. offense fouls. Like yes, that. this team's so smart. I mean, this team that this intelligence yeah. level of being able to block a shot without. Yeah. Getting fouls. And this, I guess that depends on the Yeah, th this team's smart. And when you go through stuff um, and you walk through it and you go through it and you guard it, they're they're pretty good at it. And then where we've gotten so much better, they ran a different they ran two different sets tonight that we haven't seen and just 
fundamentals and being understanding it and all that stuff. Um, you know, I, I mean, my, my three guards are good defenders, you know, and then you put Sarah on top of it, and then you put – Jasmine's a very, very good defender, very smart, five years being here. She doesn't get out of position very often. Baba Lou's learning, but Baba Lou is a better rebounder. You saw some of the rebounds she had tonight. If she just makes a couple of her layups, she has 10 points tonight, you know. She just got to slow down, but, you know, we're playing good. Hope we can keep it up and, and uh, hope we can get this one Saturday and, and we'll see what happens. So. Nice little bit to empty the bench. It seemed like Perry had a nice game. Yeah, she played good and Sig played good. And um, Smither had an outstanding game Saturday. And I told her, I, you got to shoot. She, for some reason, didn't want to shoot today. I don't know what the deal was. But we need, we need her to play. We need her to come in and give us some of that offensive punch. And, um, but I, I thought our bench played good tonight. I thought they all were ready. That's one thing we do as a coaching staff. We don't give up on these kids. And we keep working them hard in practice. We expect things. We, we uh, push them to the limit. Um, you probably saw I got really mad there one time out. And it was the bench guys. And I was mad because I want them to realize that that you get on there and you get better every every day. And when you do that, you're going to have success. Because who knows? I mean, Monty sprains her ankle before the, last night. You know, I'm, I'm, I go to Sid and say, hey, you're going to play. Be ready to go. You know, and I thought she was. I thought she was ready tonight. So.